now tuned into the Mr. Two Show, Mr. Mr. Two Show. You watching the Mr. Two Show? Get your daily dose of post. The Mr. Two Show, Mr. Mr. Two Show. You watching the Mr. Two Show? Get your daily dose of post. know some of the links that I've actually posted on today's show, on, on Tumblr, excuse me, on Facebook actually. Now, what I posted was the Kimbo Slice mixtape. Now, yesterday I did ask you guys, did you think that Kimbo Slice could make it in the UFC? Now, what I posted today, it was the Kimbo Slice mixtape, and it has a whole lot of a video of Kimo Slice basically kicking ass on the show. So if you want to see if he can actually make it, check that out. And also, from a, pre a couple of previous posts when it comes to, uh, I think the post was actually named, What was the stupidest or the dumbest or the weirdest dance that you have ever seen? And it came out to be the jerk. So uh, what I've done for you guys was, I also posted the video of the show. How to actually do the jerk. Now you guys go ahead and check that out. And in the meantime, I've actually seen that on my talk show board. What was needed, oh, excuse me, what you guys wanted me to discuss today was what would you do if you told someone that you loved them, but they didn't love you back? Now that's a quite that's an interesting question. I guess it really would depend on the extent of the love because if you guys checked in on the show yesterday and you see that I myself made a statement, oh, excuse me, I answered one of the questions of yesterday's post and in that statement I pretty much said that one of the hardest things that I've had to tell someone was I love them. So in a case where I actually found the nerve to tell somebody that I love them and there was either no reaction, or she didn't say that she loved me back, or she, she just simply looked at me stupid. I mean, me personally, I don't know. It really depends on the extent of the love. I mean, if it's some puppy love and somebody that I, I just think that I'm trying to be in love with or something like that, then, yeah, right, get your ass on. I, I was just trying to see what you was fucking with, you know? This, of course... Is not going to be the true feeling because if somebody hurt you, one of the most natural reactions, and women y'all good at this, is to lash out. It doesn't matter if that person meant to hurt you or not, if your feelings are hurt, you're going to lash out. Most women do it, and I definitely apologize for you feeling the need to have to do that. But, hey, men do it too, and I just never been told you that we do it. So, <laughs> sometimes I'm hypocritical in that aspect. Now, in addition to what's going on, as far as with how would I would react to it, I know I, probably, I know I would be looking shit faced a little bit because I mean it is hard enough just to try to tell somebody to put your feelings out there and this habit slap you back in the face. So it's definitely something that's hard to go to deal with in that aspect. Now, with that said, I definitely hate to be around the bush on the same topic. And I hate to be around the bush and let you guys even just hear me a whole lot. I don't like to hear myself talk a whole lot. And I'm trying to get out of there, but that's an whole other story. Now, with that said, and before I move on to the actual post that are on Facebook, I want to say what's up to Arkansas with the check -in. It looks like you checked in over there. Uh, looks like you're on the phone over there. So if you guys have anything to say, Shawan, I see you actually... Um, on air live as well today. So if you have anything that you would like to say over the air, um, I want to say you can ding it somewhere on there, and I will feel free to get you guys open and let you take over the microphone for a brief second. So while well, I'm actually saying that, let me go ahead and go back over to the Facebook board. Now, the very first person that has answered that particular question on the board is my girl Kiki. Now, what Kiki says is move on because you can't make no one love you. It really depends. I mean, it depends on the person at the time because you can't always say that you can't make somebody love you, but you can make their asses fall. Keep that in mind. Now, next on the board, Terrica, she checks in and says that you can't turn your feelings off and on like a faucet, but she said that she would distance herself from them slowly because you can't make someone love you. That is a true, I mean, again, that's a true statement. It's definitely good for you to, to actually distance yourself from it. 
But at the same time, it's kind of hard for you to say that you can't make someone love you if you're not even putting in the effort to try to get them to fall. I mean, if you were in a, serious about your love for that person, regardless if they show that they love you or not, you would, not to say that you're being a fool in doing it, but you would at least try to make that person fall. Or you at least try to show them that you really meant it. Because I mean, really think about it. For you ladies out there, that's sexy than a mother. Even some of the other ladies out there. How many times have you ever really heard a dude say that they love you? And with that said, how many times did you actually believe that dude loved you? Now, if they said it, and then they decided that they wanted to move on, or distance themselves away from you, would you really believe that they loved you? Fool for thought. Now, going on on the board a little bit further down, uh, my boy Keith checked in. He said he's a, he agrees with Tara. And going on, my girl Denisha, she checked in and said that she agreed. She said that you can't make another person love. And she also goes on to say that it would also pull away, that she would also pull away slowly. Because if you love someone, your feelings shouldn't fly away that fast. Denisha, maybe you might, you might want to check in your definition of love because a lot of times when you fall in love, sometimes that you can't control that love because I actually met someone that we just came across past and from that moment I knew at that point that I did want to be I spend the rest of my life with her. Again, that's another story. Now, going on a little bit further down the board, you know I always like to read those that are actually in my room. I like to read what they say on Facebook as well. Give you guys a little bit of double dose on what's going on. Now, this is in front of the board. My girl, she wanted to check in. She said that she agrees with Tara as well. Now, although there is nothing wrong with loving that person, all one can do is back away and hope that friendship of some sort still remains. And in that case, if that is the case on that, then if they were to decide that they want to leave you because you told them that you loved them, regardless of if that love was genuine, that best friend for life love, or if it was that like that love where someone was really feeling in love, then at that point, they should, and keep, keep in mind, the key word in that sentence is they should still be your friend because even in being lover, it's always best to be friends first. Now, it looks like I had a uh, check-in over here on the board, and let's see here. It says, once you love a person, you love them. Sometimes by backing away is the only way to ease the rejection. Yeah, that's true. But to go on into what my boy Leonard says, and I'm just going to read that one next on that one. What Leonard says, well, excuse me, in rebuttal to that one, I would honestly rather tell a person that I did love them, if I did, regardless of if I was rejected or not. Maybe that's me being the man. But, men are more apt to rejection than women are. Because men get rejected every day. So I men get kind of used to it. No comment on that. Now just to let you guys know exactly what Leonard said on the board. And before I say what Leonard has said on the board, I actually want to say uh, thank you, Sabrina, for checking in over here on the board. And I appreciate you for coming through, stopping through at the show. Now, going back over to the board, it looks like what Leonard said in regards to uh, what would you do if you told someone that they love you and they didn't love you back. What Leonard said is, what you basically do what you can do. And he said that he think it's best to go ahead and tell them how you feel. Because you never know. They may actually feel the very same way that you do, and they may not. He said that he can't live with you not feeling the same way that he do, but he said he cannot live with the fact that he wasn't man enough to even let her know how he felt. It's a powerful words, a powerful statement on that one. I definitely understand that one now. Let's check on the time and see how much time we do have left on this particular topic over here on topic two. And actually, you guys, by the looks of the time, we are actually right on time for your next break.